club friend. That's lame. Maybe I should give you a name. I'm getting off here. I think you should come with me. This actually happened. I'm talking to an imaginary person. What I'm about to tell you is top secret. Welcome back to another Theta Report. This is Andre with 369 Crypto. We're going to go over Theta Mainnet 2.0 news for today. Got some exciting stuff. I'm over here at the thetatoken.org site. If you kind of scroll through the page, it's got the recent announcements here. Um, this is also where you download your Theta Mainnet 2.0 wallet for the Theta network to hold the Theta tokens and T-Fuel uh, news and other Go Block Explorer here. And also down here, if you look at uh, all the Guardian nodes, Enterprise Validator nodes, and Edge Catcher nodes throughout, you can kind of scroll through and see how the networks are working out. But the one thing I want to talk about today is dun dun dun, we're going live with the Theta Guardian node staking. We'll go live on Theta Maiden 2.0 today, June 3rd, 2020. This is exciting. Uh, a lot of people have been waiting for this and uh, want to get going with it. So Theta Network can't run without a decentralized community of stakeholders all working towards the main network, secure, efficient, and useful. So we're running the, we're not running the <laughs> Guardian node, we're running an edge node. But what are the requirements? That's what everybody is asking me. What are the requirements and what does it pay? Uh, running a Guardian node is a critical part of the Theta blockchain consensus. Starting Wednesday, June 3rd, you can participate in running a Guardian node on Theta Mainnet 2.0 if you meet the following requirements. Minimum tokens to hold, 10,000 Theta tokens. Internet speed, 5 megabits per second and up and down. Yeah, okay. CPU, 4 cores or more, and memory, 8 gigabytes or more. If you meet all these requirements, go to the Guardian node setup guide. Um, you can also check it out on Guardian nodes on GitHub here and on the Block Explorer here. How do you get started? Well, setup guide for main will be released Wednesday, June 3rd. I have not seen it yet, so we're waiting for that release. I'll update the description box below as well as in the pinned comment of where to find it. It's probably gonna be on the medium.com site for Theta, Theta Labs. Uh, this will be released on all Theta social channels on Wednesday, and this section will be updated with the Theta link. Like on the testnet, there will be options to stake via Windows, Mac, and Linux app, or directly from CLI if you prefer. Users will also have the option of staking via Google Cloud, the launch partner of Theta Mainnet. Well, that's pretty cool. Um, so what if you're already running a, a Guardian node? So uh, you can simply stop running your existing Guardian node on testnet, follow the same instructions as the new users to set up your new Guardian node on the Theta Mainnet 2.0. It isn't necessary to unstake your testnet underscore sapphire tokens your t fuel rewards from testnet will be paid out to your theta mainnet wallet by the end of the week june 5th so basically you can stop running on testnet get up and running on mainnet um don't have to unstake your testnet sapphires and then all of your t fuel will be forwarded to the payout on the fifth according to theta network <laughs> what is the incentive for running a guardian node and staking data well guardian nodes earn a share of all the new theta fuel generated on theta blockchain which is 250 million units annually the proportion of t fuel you earn as a g node uh depends on how much theta you have staked relative to the total number of theta as an example if you have 100,000 theta and the total network has 300 million theta staked you are staking 0.033% of the theta total staked on the network. That would translate into your node earning about 0.264 T fuel per 100 block period, or 6944, 6,944 T fuel monthly. Math um, gets you there. At current prices, uh, the staking annual ROI is slightly under 3%. However, this figure can adjust continuously as both theta and T fuel are traded on exchanges. Current ROI on any given time will depend on the ratio of theta fuel price to theta. Um, you can go to the Guardian Monitor site for more information and 
no fixed lockup period for staking. However, uh, when you unstake, there is a 60 hour withdrawal period uh, and your tokens will be available after that. Uh, I guess it's like an unfreeze type situation. Uh, some folks have been asking me in the comments also, can you stake from a Trezor or a hardware wallet? And yes, you can. Um, uh, Theta iOS, Android wallet, Ledger, Trezor via web wallet. It, it's safe, uh, the Theta wallet. Uh, yeah, even if your computer or, or cloud instance you are running the Guardian node on is hacked, the only thing a ha an attacker could do is send your tokens back to your wallet. So as long as you keep your wallet safe, just as you do now, staking is not any more risky than holding. Let me repeat that. Even if your computer or cloud instance, so your cloud instance, you are running the Guardian node on, is hacked, the only thing an attacker could do is send your tokens back to your wallet. So as long as you keep your wallet safe, just as, just as you do now, staking is not any more risky. Cool. Okay, yeah, what if I don't have 10,000 theta? What if I wasn't lucky enough to get data at less than half a cent? Well, <laughs> we will continue to evaluate this minimum figure. Uh, there's two pools available. You got Binance staking, and then you also have the G pool. And I've been looking into this a little bit. I don't have 10,000 theta currently, so I can't run a Guardian node. Um, I was going to go through the setup of Guardian node today, but since they're coming out later with a new setup guide, I'm just going to update the pinned comment with the new uh, social media articles that go through because if you go back to the Theta main site and you go to join today for the Guardian node program, that opens up the old test net. This is old. So this is going to do nobody any good other than, you know, th these, these numbers are still the same as what the requirements are for mainnet. But what I'm saying is if you go to the thetatoken.org site and hit join today for Guardian nodes, it's going to take you to the old setup for testnet. So go to the Medium article. I'll, p I'll pin this in the comment as well and put it in the description. The new Medium article came out yesterday for the mainnet Guardian node staking. And there will be something coming out today. Now, these guys are out uh, West Coast, so um, I don't have the information quite yet. But when I do, I will put it in the description and also in the pinned comment for this video and then link it to the other videos. Um, one thing I wanted to say that uh, on 369 Crypto, I do have a Theta mainnet um, playlist. And if you go onto uh, 369 Crypto main page, and you'll see it. If you're watching a Theta video, you'll, it's, all the playlists are there. So I uh, wanted to respond to some comments from prior videos. Uh, let's see. Expected reward for Guardian node, we covered that, and I will respond to that from um, Green Wave Garage. That's a cool name. Um, oh, yeah. Yesterday, I posted a video on mining T-Fuel, and I posted a 5.174 T-Fuel earned. Let's look at our, this is on the Edge Catcher node. This is my Edge Catcher node that I installed yesterday. I've earned 21.412423 T-Fuel, um, basically in less than 18 hours. So I will update that comment and uh, re reply and, and make, sh make sure everybody knows that it, this is working. Some people have problems with it. The best place to go is the Telegram group for Theta Token, and I'll uh, have that linked in the description. You can check that out. But it says I'm working on one job. I'm not sure how that works, but... Uh, Two peers, 340.7 megabytes, efficiency 1.42x. That sounds good. Um, yep, and then the edge player down here. So basically what the edge catcher node is just catching and restreaming uh, bandwidth through my computer. I do have this set up uh, on my hard drive and it's connected to my Theta wallet. And the video is in the description of how we go earn, how we set up an edge catcher node and earn T fuel, what the Guardian node is going to do is just be a larger uh, node and therefore holding with the staking of the 10,000 theta tokens, you'll be getting a bigger ROI. Can you run the Guardian node and the uh, Edge Catcher node on the same device? Yes, you can. I asked that in the Telegram yesterday, and uh, absolutely. You, they both can be connected to the same wallet, and some folks were having some issues 
as well with the setup. Brian Piroway, Piro my French isn't that great. Brian Piroway, uh, just responding to you. I, hey, uh, just why don't you jump in the Telegram? Uh, they can help you out. Uh, he was having problems setting up his PGN and Edge node together. Uh, they can be run from the same wallet. They can't have two Edge Catcher nodes going to the same wallet. So if you're going to run an, an Edge node, uh, one wallet per Edge node, and then as far as Guardian node and so he was running a pre-Guardian node, so that's on the test net. So those two different blockchains. But yeah, you can run in the new mainnet 2.0. You can, according to this article from Theta, you can run a Guardian node as well as an edge catcher node on the same device. Um, so answer that question there. So answer that question. So yeah, just real quick, if you want to go over to um, my main page for three, oh, 100 subscribers, cool. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you guys for subscribing. If you haven't yet, you please subscribe with the subscribe button. Well, you got playlists. And then if you scroll down, you see Theta somewhere, Theta token mainnet. Um, and then I'm going to start probably doing daily videos for a uh, Theta network because there's a lot of demand and there's not a lot of information out there. So if you can see, I do like one a day. That's This is a replay of, of I just did voiceover because you couldn't hear the first one. This, uh, this video is pretty cool. Whoa. <laughs> so in this video, <laughs> uh, you couldn't hear the guy. And it was from like when they were testing out, but they have three different TVs hooked up on three different networks and then also PC in the, in the side and they're all running nodes and um, all at the same time and the video is streaming. And this is like from a year ago. So this is when they were doing Sliver TV upgrade. So check that out, Theta TV bandwidth streaming video. Also um, last video from yesterday, earn T fuel. This is how you install the edge node. And then uh, once I get the information from uh, Medium or however they're gonna disseminate the information from Theta network, we will have the Guardian node set up video and then we'll start staking Guardian. Well, we won't. Somebody out there will be lucky enough. I'm probably going to join a pool, so I'll go over that too. So you can join, you can join mining pools. Basically, a mining pool. You just share your bandwidth, or you share your tokens with somebody that shares, that has a Guardian node, and and then they distribute it like a like they would a mining pool. So, thanks everybody for watching. 100 subscribers. That's awesome. Uh, like the video if you did like it. Leave a comment if you have a question. Um, I would highly encourage to join the Telegram group. If you're not familiar with Telegram, don't. It's 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 worse than Twitter. It's 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 hardcore. I mean, the people are nice, but the bots are not friendly. So, <laughs> uh, join the Telegram group if you're feeling feeling rough. And then uh, uh, please subscribe to the channel. And I'll be trying to do Theta uh, Mainnet 2.0. We'll call it the Theta Report on a daily basis. Cool. Thanks for watching and listening, guys. Have a great day out there.